Aboriginal Head Start. 13 sites in 10 urban and northern communities. The story of five. What works for our children and our families is their, their own traditions. Um, teaching them about their languages, their culture, their ancestors, the beautiful way of life that they carried, that's what's meaningful to these children. And so we need to be creating opportunities for them to experience that and to carry that with them throughout the rest of their life. The Aboriginal Head Start program is different um, from any other childcare or uh, kindergarten program because we instill culture and language um, on a daily basis. Um, it allows the children and the families to be a part of who they are and, and give them an identity of where they belong. I want to be able to give back to the children and the families what's been taken away from them through residential schools and all the other things that our people have had to go through. They've lost language and their connection with the earth and traditional teachings and so many things. And I just really want to be able to have the opportunity to give that back. It exudes uh, great empowerment for the children and the families. The culture itself is, is really big. To me it is big because, you know, home is home is really far from here. That he gets to eat traditional food because he loves traditional food. Learning the culture, the drumming, they learn their language. They learn a whole bunch of cultural stuff, actually. Learning to read, the syllabics, the reading, the little things that a child would learn up there, and they get to learn this at school, too, at Ottawa Any Children's Centre. I introduced my culture and language to the children and to the other Inuit in here. We work together, support each other when it comes to our culture. These kids are getting their uh, country food from here, from OICC Ottawa Inuit Children's Center. They don't get it at home. They always looking forward every time when I pull out Inuk food. I want some, I want some. And it's so nice to see them that they want it. It's a big support. You don't really have to worry about your child being somewhere like you know, where they don't know the environment or the language or, you know, little things. Trying to get them in schools and going everywhere. This place makes everything easier for us. We have six components that we run off of. So it's culture and language, education, nutrition, health promotion, social support, and parent engagement and uh, we incorporate that in all aspects of the program. This week we're teaching about hunting and uh, outside here today actually we brought stuffed animals and bows and arrows and we also brought the tobacco to give thanks for that, that life that the animal would give us. Because this month we are, we are talking about harvest and getting ready for winter, hunting is part of that. You will see us showing the children how to respectfully hunt, how to, how to feed their families and how our ancestors would feed their families and prepare for the winter time. I tell people, if, you know, if you can, if, if you can get in, you know, if you have some native in your background and you can get into this program, do it. My son can already count to 10 in two languages in Mohawk and in, and in English. Um, I just feel he's way ahead of the game already. It's huge because right now for his age group there isn't even any type of schooling so he would be in a daycare which I'm sure they do teach a, a little bit of things there but th there's no way they're, they're going to this much detail with them about you know just about everything. What we know about children at this age from zero to five it is such a powerful time there's so much learning that happens that you don't get any other time in your life. And what we know is that the way that children gather information is through their senses. So the old school way of learning where people would encourage kids to just sit down and be quiet and listen to the teacher talk, that's not effective. So here at Nawasa, we want them engaged, we want them learning all of their senses. A lot of our day is just um, an emergent approach. So we know that for children to really learn anything. They need to be curious about it. They need to be interested in what they're doing. So we're always finding ways to incorporate the language, the culture, the traditions, but we base it all on the interests of the children. It's a place that's really fun and they feel able to express themselves. The impact that this program has had on my children 
is a good one because they were more prepared to go into mainstream education. They weren't so afraid to be who they were. They were able to show who they were and learn and teach others about their culture. The great thing about Head Start here is that we try to encourage and teach new words to our young children. Uh, in my class, a lot of the children are just starting to talk, so which is great because you know they're learning the English words, but also we're trying to incorporate the, the native language. Oh, I love that there's a place where we can come and like it integrates our culture because you know we don't get to see that so much anymore and you know, we get to have smudge and we get to pray and there's like little words that we learn, like that the children learn and they get to hear our language and they get to see the medicines that we grew up with and you know, they have themes where they'll set up teepees and furs and lay them out for the kids to be able to touch and explore on that and I say it'd be the best choice you can make for you and your children, like we've gained so much from here and such a great experience and the people that work here and the staff and the parents that come here it's just a great overall feeling of family and connected like with nature and the education part of it and it's a really good start for children. It's very welcoming here like it's not just about one specific cultural experience. We've come here and done drumming with the kids, showed them different powwow styles and we love it. 100% we love it so that's why we come back every with every child. Culture is really important to myself. I'm Métis and I never grew up that way. So again even as old as I am and as the, our parents are saying the same thing that they're at least they're getting some of that here either renewing it or, or reliving it or they've heard about it and now they actually have that. Um, I'm really hoping that Head Start will be here forever. It's actually a really awesome program and my kids leave here happy all the time. <laughs> I have four children and three of my girls have been attending the Head Start. I bring my kid to Aboriginal Head Start so I can get my schooling done and so I can look at a brighter future for my kids and my family. They get to learn to count, they learn their ABCs, they learn to be polite, they learn to share. They just learn everything that you're supposed to. When you go into school, they learn some stuff from the grandfather teachings here, as I did when I came here. And it's good to know that my kids are coming here now. My former students traveling around the world now, throat singing, showing off who they are. To me, that's a big impact. That's, uh, when, I, when they were here from 18 months and up, and they graduate, go on to a big school, and they still doing it. When I hear these kids, former students from here, when I hear they, they were doing this, they were doing that in Inutitu, make me so proud. They got it, they got it.